it's showing up everywhere. So, um, let me select these. It's loading up different lists, or it's, it's doing something to the, the data to parse out the items that should be shown uh, uh, apart from ones that shouldn't be shown. So, we need to find that spot in the Windows, RPG Windows, where we were um, processing that again. Uh, so, it's weapon. There we are. Command list. So, um, those are the commands. Um, we need to look up those commands now in the scene. Oh, that's not going to be there. Um, what's the window? Um, make command, uh, item category. So, window category. So, on category, okay. So on category, okay. Um, window active and select the last. Okay. over here um, item category right item window Where the hell did I see item cate window item category here? Create category window on category okay. Oh yeah, here it was there. Um, So on select last. That's a very small definition. Um, so it's a horizontal command. A command list. Um, That's from item list. Now see, it should be category window, not... So bind on category, okay. Scene shop. Uh, scene shop, scene shop, scene item. Oh, no, no, that's right. Yeah. So when we select it as okay, then we want to activate the item window down here and then select last on the item window. That makes sense. An item window is a um, window selectable. Uh, so that would be over here on item list, select last. Now, my question is, um, so set category, this has got to be, be being called from over here somewhere. Apparently not. So item window category prototype that updates item window. Well, that's interesting. So, we're setting, so the item window is set, okay, so we're passing through the item window and setting it to there, gotcha. Then we are on updates of the category, we are changing the set category. If the categories are different, we're doing a refresh and then reset scroll. So the refresh command of this does what? 
Free calls, make item list. And make item list. Filter function items includes item. Um, includes and also. Uh, this dot includes. based on the category. So if it's a weapon, case weapon, um, did we alias, did we overwrite that over here? So save game, this weapon, draw item name, num items, traits, all and at all items, uh, param plus weapons include. Yeah, we did include. Okay, um, crap. That's why. That's why. Doing stuff without actually understanding why it's that way. So on weapon then. Um, uh, this dot category. So no, this should work now. Um, we actually don't need that at all because that's that's fine. Data manager will handle that itself. That because we have that alias. So this should be fine. Um, the problem is with a different place. So I think that should. Now we got a. I expect the token 195. 195. Oh. Yeah, so we don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's go do a new game. Aha, there we go. Now they're shown, and we'll come over here and grab some regular items. Cool, okay. <laughs> okay, progress. Slow, painstaking progress that we have to claw every bloody inch to get, but progress all the same. So, now, next up, we're going to do something different, because I need a break from digging through this and, like, destroying my brain on this stuff. We're gonna go ahead and create the scene and the menu to display um, the weapon information. So first and foremost, um, what we really need, so we can go about this two ways. I could do this the same way I did the, um, the uh, class changer where you have the first thing you see is a list of um, characters to select. You select one, then the commands happen. Or we do it like the main menu here, where we have the command list and we show the window selectable of the characters, and then once you select what you want to do, you select the character, and then it goes into their equipment and so on. Um, for this first version of it, though, what we're going to do is just use the game party items. We're just going to modify them directly from there. So, in this case, um, I think all we need to do is just to display a. Um, list of the items and then um, display once you select one of them you display the uh, commands you can take on that item on that weapon I guess and then um, <coughs> uh, be able to uh, modify it that way so we'll need to do a few things first um, first and foremost let's go ahead and add in a so we need to add in this is the so this is one thing. So um, weapon experience points. We need to figure out a way to add to that. Now, the best way to do it is to modify the um, so uh, um, game battler rewards code so that it will give experience to the characters and to the weapons, maybe at a varying amount of um, experience rate. So. Well, let's go take a look at Game Battler and see if we can find out where 
that's happening at. So, um, let's just see if we can find EXP somewhere. EXP total. So, game troop. Um, so, this dot dead members dot reduce function R. Um, okay. So, game data operand. That's a um, okay. So that's the it's one of the one of those. Change exp. X parameters. Um, all right. So let me just search up real quick. Previous. Okay, so that's just on expire. Okay, experience rate, which is that um, last state expired is buff expired, is state expired, is buff expired, um, exp, in it members. So it's not game actor, uh, game actor, in it xp, xp for level, um, initiate, initialize experience, um, current experience, current level, next level. Next required max level change experience. So that's in game actor. Um, so dot show. Or not dot show, but show. Where is that used at? Uh, show. Oh, here. Show and then this level is greater than last level. Display level up. Okay. Gotcha. So in here, um, we want to take this out and alias it, first of all. Um, or, well, we want to overwrite it. We can't really alias this, I don't think. Or can we? So while... Um, do, 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 do. so this is the XP class ID equals math at max XP zero last level of this. Um, no, I guess yeah, we could alias it, I suppose. We don't need to modify anything within it. We just need to um, add some code to add wep add the stuff to the actor's weapon. Um, obviously, in this case, we'll be putting it on, on the... Um, weapon that's in uh, the first weapon that we have that's a game instance weapon in the uh, game game party but then we can modify this later on to actually go to the actor's weapons once we actually get the actor equipping code up and running so um, uh, first thing we need to do is we need to alias this so bear um, game actor change exp equals game actor okay um, so though um, here's the thing when we do um, the alias Well, it shouldn't matter. It did matter the other time, but I don't know. Because there's sometimes when it works just, you know, without. And I think it might be because ones that we use where it works are ones that don't have any parameters. So let's let's do a search on it. So RPG Maker MV. Um, proper alias a function with parameters. Um, so params
game stream updates. So, some alias style Molina dairy system. Some alias style game screen update. Game screen prototype that update. Why is, it, why is all this crap on one line for? I sure hope to God people aren't coding like that. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, so very party actors equals game party actors. Function apply this arguments. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, we're calling call instead of apply, and we do a call. Uh, okay, maybe if we do apply, because with apply, so when you're, if, so, sad, so what, let's, let me show you instead of just like stammering and trying to explain it. Let's go back down over to here, because uh, it's quicker. So, um, where are you? Where's one of these things? Don't show yourself. I demand hear this. So, um, we have this, this dot initialize dot apply this arguments, right? So, when we're using dot apply, it passes the arguments as they are, I guess. When you use call, it seems like it throws it into a some sort of arguments object or some sort of package in some sort of object kind of format to where you have to pull the objects out of like an array. Um, so I think if we do, instead of doing a call on these, um, do, 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 where was the one we were just working on? If we do apply instead of call, it should work without any issues. So I just want to see if that does work. Um, so I'm just going to take this code out. And we're just going to, we're basically just going to do, do the same code, but we're going to call it from here instead of from the actual function. So geo will uh, game. So I'm going to check. if my suspicion is correct on there or not. So, um, we'll um, call from my self over here. Um, let's close that. We'll call change XP. On entire party, it doesn't really matter what, let's say 500 or something. So I just want to see if it will actually properly work that way, or if we're going to end up with an issue from having um, the arguments be packaged in a certain way. Um, cannot read property, apply of undefined. What's the um, okay, well, that's a new one. Uh, 198 is undefined. Maybe there's a typo. Game actor prototype. I wonder, that might be a typo there. Um, Yeah, it's a typo. It's not all caps EXP, it's lowercase XP. Yep, that's it. All right. Um. All 
I could have just looked at it right here. God, that's stupid. Uh, let's go check the RPG objects file for a function name that's right there in front of me. Um, okay. Um, Dune, reboot that. That's good. That means that it's. I was looking at that and saw that it wasn't correct. Yes, it does work. Perfect. Um, so that's good to know. All right. So um, before we call that, because what we'll do is is um, well, it could be also after, I suppose, couldn't it? It could be after. It doesn't really matter. Because um, eventually, I want to like show a screen that shows, you know, level weapon leveled up and shows you what stats changed on it. Um, so we want to just say um, just the first so uh, four all right so um, bear um, inst weapon equals whatever equals equals um, nothing we'll say so um, well it's gonna equal something So four um, var i one equals zero. I one is less than game party dot weapons dot length i one plus plus. Well, we're going through this now. Um, if um, game instance weapon then um, inst weapon equals i1 and I'm going to break the loop if I need to make sure that we actually do have something set there so now if we do then um, let's create a new function on the weapon to modify the experience so instead of just increasing or decreasing, we're going to just say modify, and we'll be able to pass through whether it's a uh, plus or a minus. Dot um, change with uh, change exp. And yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's change XP is better. Close function. Um, XP. So um, this dot underscore EXP equal uh, plus equals EXP. Um, so let's see now. Uh, if um, this dot underscore EXP. Um, Plus, so in case um, exp is a negative, it is less than zero, or is greater than zero. Do this, um, else. So if the the, the sum of what we're passing through plus what's existing is greater than zero, then um, greater than or equal to zero, then allow it to be set. And if not, just set it to zero. If for some reason you um, end up spending more experience than what you actually have, which shouldn't happen, but again, it's better to be defensive on this stuff than not. So you don't get negative experience. So now what will happen is that from here we'll call if it's um, if the weapon's instanced, then um, <coughs> let me go check this. I want to see if um, so. 
this next one has a fan. Okay, so it doesn't. Um, well, let me see. Where is this being called from? Let's say, for example, how's it being called from this? Actor that current XP plus value. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. Um, then also, in, in addition, the params, uh, the um, experience. Oh, wait, params 5. This params 5. Why is this params 5 being used there? Oh, it's the show? No. Yeah. Change XP plus value, params 5. What is params 5? It's like an attack or something, isn't it? Magic defense. That's kind of weird. It must be for something else then. Oh no, this, this, as in the, com the game interpreter. Derp. Um, so that must, yeah, that must be like a show command or something. <coughs> that it's tracking the value of that, the balloon for that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't break it down and like uh, divide it by character. It just gives you the full amount for every character. So. Um, then we call inst weapon dot um, change exp and then exp. All right, so that should get us gain us experience on the weapon. Now um, that we have that there, uh, we need to actually go through and create the scene and stuff that'll be used. Uh, for this first version here, so um, uh, we'll need to create some scene things up here and windows and such. Um, so the scene will be called uh, Scene Blacksmith just for the moment. Um, so window um, weapon list. Um, and then action pane, and then command pane, and the rest of this we can get rid of. So we're gonna have three windows. The first window will be the list, the list of weapons. In this case, it's the list of weapons from the uh, game uh, uh, game uh, party uh, weapons list. Then once you select one of those, uh, a new uh, an action pane will show up where you can select what you want to do with it. So do you want to level it up? Do you want to refine it? Do you want to whatever? And then the command pane will show up, which will say uh, it'll. Um, okay, uh, so action pane. We do need more of these, and we'll need a function window um, level up. But for right now, we'll just do the leveling up. <coughs> and then the command pane, which will show the uh, confirm or cancel buttons. So if you watched um, the stream I did a while ago where I was showing off uh, some random dude's um, um, battle points kind of system, uh, that's kind of similar to what that's going to look like. It won't be exactly the same, but in terms of the functionality of how um, some of that pa some of those windows works will kind of be the same. So you'll have the you'll have the list. You'll select the list, um, and then it'll be a oh crap yeah we need that too. We'll need a weapon status window. <coughs> 